What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog this is me Sameer and in today's video I am going to be answering an age old question how to transfer data from android to your new iphone switching phones can be daunting but it doesn't have to be so today i'm going to be sharing different methods using which you can transfer your data from android to iphone so let's start with the first method and that is using apple's own move to ios app but there's a disclaimer and that is this method will only work if you have a brand new iphone which is not set up yet but what if you already own an iPhone and using it since ages and want your Android data on that? Well, I would recommend that you skip to method number two or three. So when you boot your iPhone for the first time, it will look like this. So just uh, swipe it up, select language, select region. And over here, if you want to change the appearance, you can do that. For now, I'm not going to do anything. Set up without another device. Continue. Select a Wi-Fi. Tap on continue. Set up for myself. Set up later. Over here, I'm going to select don't use passcode for now. Don't use passcode. And you need to reach this screen in the setup process on your iPhone. Once you are here, now on your Android phone, you need to download Move to iOS app. Once downloaded, open it. Agree to all the policies and terms and conditions and permissions. Tap on continue. Agree. Don't send for now. Continue. And once this app asks you for the one time code, now on your iPhone, you need to select from Android, continue. And here we are with our code. Just input the code. And here we are. Now select the data you want to transfer to the new iPhone. And I'm going to select messages, contacts, allow, calendar, allow. You can also transfer WhatsApp as well. So I'm going to set it accessibility, display settings, photo, allow all, Google account, apps. So once you have selected your desired categories, tap on continue. And as you can see, the data transfer will start automatically. But what if you have already set up your iPhone and then you want your Android's data on it? How to do it? The second method is to back up your data to Google Drive and then restore it to your iPhone. This is a good option if you regularly back up your data to Google Drive. Now let's see how you can do that. So firstly, you need to open settings app. Now scroll down and go into passwords, passkey and accounts. Over here, you will greet with a lot of accounts, but we need to select that one Google account on which we need to back up our data. For example, I'm going to select iGeekifiedMedia at the rate gmail.com. Now tap on account sync. And over here, you will have multiple data you can sync onto this account. So toggle on each and every one of them. And as you can see, our sync has been started. So now that we have a backup of our data on Google ID, it's time to restore it on our iPhone. So once your data is backed up on your Google account, you need to add that Google account on your iPhone. And for that, you need to open Mail app. And from here, select Google and just log in with your Google ID. And now you will have options what data you want to sync on your iPhone. And in my opinion, you need to toggle each and every one of them. And simply tap on save lastly. And as you can see, our mails have been loaded on our iPhone. And if you go into the dialer app, tap on contacts. And as you can see here are all our contacts. And similarly, here are all the messages. And just like that, you have transferred your data from Android to your iPhone. And for the third method, I'm going to be using a third party apps. Well, there are many third party apps you can try for yourself. But for this video, I'm going to stick to copy my data. So first and foremost, you need to download this app on both the devices. Once done, tap on open. Now on our Android phone, you need to select start transfer, choose Wi-Fi and over here you can see iPhone and you need to select this device and all you need to do is just input this code into your iPhone. You can either transfer all of your data or you can also select files. I'm going to select files. For example, I just need to transfer my contact. Let's skip calendar. 
photos and I don't want my videos and simply continue. Select not remove and start transfer and as you can see the transfer has been started from our Android phone to our iPhone. And that's it guys, that's how you transfer your data from your Android phone to your iPhone. But there is a disclaimer for the third method and that is you need to be on the same Wi-Fi network for this method to work. Otherwise this method won't work if you are on some different Wi-Fi networks. And if you're facing any problem, do let me know in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you guys. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to iX blog, press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post. And in meanwhile, you can go to the app store, download iGeeks blog app, enjoy everything Apple content and amazing wallpapers I can vouch for. On this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada, see ya, bye bye.